My name is Frank Mazzella. I'm the Learning Products Manager for Vision Research. I'm here to present a series of PCC Phantom Camera Control software tutorials intended to show you many of the various features and processes incorporated in PCC. At the end of the Cine Analysis Part 5 Angle and Angular Speed 3 Points Tutorial, you will be able to perform angle and angular speed measurements using three points and generate a report file. Angle and angular speed measurements using three points measures the angle formed by three points and the angular speed which equals the measured angle divided by the time of the last point frame minus the time of the first point frame if the first and last points are on different frames. Using the PCC 2D analysis tool essentially turns your phantom camera into an extremely effective test instrument. However, you don't need a camera connected to the PCC software to perform measurements on your Cine files. So let's get started. Just as I did in the Cine Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements tutorial, the first thing I need to do is specify the units of measure. The units our measurements are going to report as. For details on defining the units of measure, Review the Cine Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements Tutorial. I'm going to use the units of measure I used in the previous tutorial. I'm also going to leave the Unique Scale Per Application option disabled. For details on this option, see the Cine Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements Tutorial. We will cover the remaining other options later in the Cine Analysis Tutorials. Just as I did in the Reviewing Your First Cine tutorial, I'm going to open the Cine I want to perform measurements on. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the ball file. This will allow us to measure the angle of its trajectory, its speed, and the angular speed if its angle varies. And again, just as I did in the Cine Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements tutorial, I'm going to apply the Edge High Pass 5x5 Edge Detection algorithm to the Cine images to ease the measurement process. I could, if I wanted to, use the zoom function along with disabling the smooth zoom algorithm that is applied to the Cine images to help pinpoint a specified pixel that I would use during the measurement process. However, for demonstration purposes I don't need the measurement calculations to be quite that accurate. Remember, each pixel I am off by when I am selecting the tip of the jet during the measurement process will offset the results by two hundredths of an inch for every pixel I am off by. I will, however, select the Zoom Actual Size Toolbar button to zoom the Cine images to their actual size. Unlike distance and speed measurements, where I needed to calculate a measurement scale, angle and angular speed measurements do not require it because the software calculates these measurements using the XY coordinates of the pixel selected. Since I'm going to perform angle and angular speed measurements using three points, I don't need to set a new origin point, like I did when I performed coordinate or distance and angle and speed measurements. So for this tutorial, I want to know the angle and angular speed the ball has moved from a specific point. In order to select the type of instant measurement I want to perform, I'll need to enable or check the active option in the instant measurement area. Activating the Instant Measurement option allows me to select from the pull-down selection list the type of measurement I want to perform. In this case, the angle and angular speed three points measurements. This next portion of the tutorial is optional. Since I want to generate a report file of the measurements performed, I'll need to click on the dot 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 button to the right of the report file path data entry field. I'll need to navigate to the folder I want the report file to be written into when the open dialog window is displayed. For this report, I'm going to place an open report file into the C colon program files phantom cines tutorial cines folder. I'll also need to assign a name to the report file. So I'm going to call this report AS3PT1 for angle, speed, three point test one and click the open button. Now I'll need to enter the report file's header information 
in the Setup for Measurement Report File dialog window. So I'm going to title this report as AS3 PT1. In the Analysis field, I'll enter my name, Frank Mazzella. In the Station field, I'm going to enter Camera 1. In the Camera field, I'll enter the model of the camera that captured the Cine, in this case, the Phantom V12-1. And in the Lens field, information about the lens used to capture the Cine. In this case, a 1-2.8 to Sigma Zoom 24-70mm to millimeter with the f-stop wide open. Then click the OK button. Notice, the software displays the path of the open report file in the Report File Path Data field. I'm also going to enable or check the Query for Comment feature. Just to demonstrate it, the system is going to prompt me to enter in a piece of information about the measurement every time I take one. This is an optional feature and is not necessary to generate a report file much like creating a report file. I don't need to do this to take measurements. OK, let's do some measurements. With the Cine Advance to the first image I want to perform measurements on, I need to click the center of the ball, marking point 1. Now I'll advance the Cine to the frame where the ball hits the table and is just starting its way up, and click the center of the ball again to mark the reference point. Then I'll advance the ball to a point where it bounced off the table and click the center of the ball for the third time, marking point 2, 3 points. When the Comment for Measurement dialog window appears, I'll enter a comment about the measurement I just took. In this case, I'm going to type in 3-point angle measurements example and click the OK button. So you can see what just happened. I'm going to resize the image so it fits in the play panel. Notice the software displays the angle in magenta that was calculated based on the three points selected. The software has also calculated the angle the ball has traveled and the angular speed at which it has moved and reports the results in the result field. I could have advanced or rewound the Cine and taken the measurement. The system will calculate it regardless of the direction I move the Cine. So that's how we can calculate the angle and angular speed of an object without a known reference point. OK, let's talk about how to calculate the revolution of an object using the angular and angular speed three-point measurement option. I'll start by closing the ball Cine, then open the previously recorded fan Cine file under the Manager tab. Since I want to calculate the speed at which the fan rotates, I'll need to change the measurement unit in the Application Preferences dialog window in the Manager tab. I need to change the angular speed unit to revolutions per second and click the OK button. Now, let's go back to the Play tab and scroll down to the Instant Measurement area. With the Cine already at the first image the measurements will be taken on, I need to activate the instant measurements and select angular and angular speed three points from the pull down selection list. Like before, I'm going to generate a report file to the C colon program files Phantom Cines Tutorial Cines folder and title the file as AS3 PT2 for angular speed three points test two, then click the open button. Now I'll need to enter the report file's header information in the Setup for Measurement Report File dialog window. So I'm going to title this report as AS3 PT2. In the Analysis field, I'll enter my name, Frank Mazzella. In the Station field, I'm going to enter Camera 1. In the Camera field, I'll enter the model of the camera that captured the Cine, in this case, the Phantom V73. And in the Lens field, information about the lens used to capture the Cine. In this case, a 1-2.8 to Sigma Zoom 
24 to 70 millimeter with the f-stop wide open. Then click the OK button. Notice, this software displays the path of the open report file in the report file path data field. I'm also going to enable or check the query for comment feature. Just to demonstrate it, the system is going to prompt me to enter in a piece of information about the measurement every time I take one. This is an optional feature and is not necessary to generate a report file, much like creating a report file. I don't need to do this to take measurements. Okay, let's do some measurements. I'm also going to apply some image processing to the CINE similar to what I did when I performed the measurements of the ball file, except this time I'm going to use the Edge Lab Cipian 5x5 edge detection filter and remove the color saturation. I'll start the measurement process by clicking on the center of the target at the top of the fan to mark my first point, point 1. Then I'll click the reference point, point 2, the center point of the fan. Now I need to advance the cine so that the target has moved 180 degrees to the bottom of the fan. And click the center of the point to mark point 2 or the third point. Notice the comment for measurement dialog window appears. So I'll enter a comment about the measurement I just took. In this case, I'm going to type in three point measurement of the fan then click the OK button. Just like it did when I performed the three-point measurements on the ball file, the software displays the angle of the measurement in magenta and reports the results of its calculations in the results field. Before we finish, I'm going to reset the image processing techniques back to default and disable the query for comments and instant measurements. We'll take a look at the report file in part 9 of the CINE analysis tutorials reviewing the report files. So that's how easy it is to do angle and angular speed three-point measurements with the PCC software.